Hello everyone, in this video we will derive the formula of surface areas and volumes of a cuboid. We come across various problems related to cubes, cuboids, cylinders, cones and many such objects. The main problem always is we don't remember the formulas and sometimes we do not know which exact formula to apply. So before we start solving the problems, we will look into their formulas and see how these formulas are actually derived so that remembering them and applying them becomes very easy. Don't forget to find us on YouTube and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to see many more such interesting videos and many concepts solved very easily. Let's start with the introduction of a cuboid. A cuboid is nothing but a 3D version of a rectangle. When we talk about a rectangle, there are only two dimensions we have to consider, the length and the breadth. But when this rectangle changes to a cuboid, a third dimension is added called as the width of the cuboid. So here we have three dimensions to consider, the length, the width which is also the breadth and the height of the cuboid. So we will give them names as L, B and H. For further formulas we will use L for the length, B for breadth or sometimes called as width and H for the height. So the first formula that we will consider is the volume of the cuboid. Now firstly what exactly is volume of any object? Now when we consider any three dimensional object that is a 3D object, its volume is nothing but the space enclosed by this closed object or the material that this closed object can actually fill inside it. This is nothing but the volume. Now for the cuboid there are three dimensions length, breadth and height. When we multiply all these three dimensions we actually obtain the space occupied by this particular cuboid. So volume of the cuboid is nothing but length into breadth into height. Next is total surface area of the cuboid. When we say total surface area we have to basically add the areas of all the surfaces of that particular shape. Now when we see the figure of the cuboid, there are in all six surfaces, okay? Two rectangles, one on the top, one on the bottom. Two rectangles, one on the left side and right hand side. And two rectangles, one on the front side and one on the back side. So we have to add the surface areas of all these rectangles to get the total surface area of the cuboid. Now for the two rectangles, when one on the top and one on the bottom, the formula will be length into breadth. So twice L into B. For two rectangles, one on the left and one on the right, the formula will be breadth into height. So twice breadth into height. And lastly, two rectangles, one on the front and one on the back, the formula will be length into height. So twice L into H. We can take out two common from all the surface areas and add them up to get the total surface area of the cuboid. The length of the diagonal of a cuboid is nothing but the square root of the sum of the square of all its dimensions. That is square root of L square plus B square plus H square. Now this can be derived using Pythagoras formula but we will not get into the details of it for now. For now we can just remember the formula as the square root of the sum of the square of all its dimensions. So in this video we have learned to derive the formula of the volume, the total surface area and the diagonal of a cuboid. I hope you have understood this and it will get easier to remember this in the future.